All right. Well, we were out here on a lake <clears throat> that I haven't fished. It feels like forever. I used to fish this lake like almost every single day. The water level, well, let's just say it seems like a little bit low right now. Yeah, it might be, might be. Yeah, I'm pretty positive it's kind of low. But anyway, that's no big deal. We're gonna do a, we're gonna fish for a few hours this morning. And then later on, we're gonna go uh, pick up Mr. Alex Perrick from the airport. So let's see if we can get on some fish today. It's a good fish on the spook. Shallow. No, stay down, stay down, stay down. They tend to spit these spooks a lot, just so you guys know. Oh. You know what? I'm not gonna get a handful of troubles. I'm gonna be smart about this one. Oh. This had a handful of troubles written all over it. There we go. First one of the day. He ate it completely just engulf that thing. Um, like I said, I haven't been fishing this. I'm gonna get him back in the water. I haven't been fishing this lake in a really long time, so I was kind of like iffy. I wonder if they were shallow. I wonder if they were still deep. So my goal is to stay shallow till the, wa or till the water, till the sun comes way, way, way up, and then we'll move out deep if we uh, the shallow bite turns off. Here's uh, here's Robert's words of wisdom for the day as well. If you buy a spook, change the hooks out because they, they, the stock hooks suck, like a lot. I'll put on some big old hooks on each one. Well, that was a, I don't think I could do that twice. I literally just drilled the end of a tree branch. Like the most thin part of this tree branch is poking out. They are chasing over there. Let's see if we can pick them up. Ah, it's a little too far to the right. Let's see if we can get him to come hit it. They are chasing. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. He missed it. They're, they're chasing. They're chasing bait up on the bank right there. Let's see if we can get him to hit it again. Could be uh, could be uh, a little white bass or sand bass. It's always tough to get him to hit it that second time after they miss it. That. He hit that thing so hard it jolted or jolted out of the water. Let's see if we can get him to hit it if we stop the dang thing. Yep. God, he missed it again. I stopped it right in that same area. And they're hitting it again. It's a, uh, I think it's a little sand bass. Oh, gosh, dang. Maybe, but the thing is they all can be schooled up chasing a big old ball of bait right there. If I had a Senko tied on, that's exactly what I would do. It's another thing for y'all. If you're flipping frogs or any type of top water, you have a fish miss, miss your top water, flip a Senko right, I'm, I promise you, like right next to it, right where you missed it, you got them fired up from that initial hit, and they'll, they'll hit the Senko if it falls right in front of them. Oh, there we go. Don't get wrapped up in that tree. Don't get wrapped up in that tree. This is a good fish, I think. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, I got a rod everywhere. He's getting wrapped up in that tree, isn't he? Yep. God dang it. God dang it. God dang it. Oh, that was a big fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Son of a... Man, that sucks. <sighs> oh, I hate losing fish like that. Yeah, that was, a, that, was a really, that was a good fish, guys. Just got me wrapped up in a tree. I'm throwing... Um, see, with these spooks, you know, you gotta... I only use monofilament, because if I use fluorocarbon, Oh, it's such a pain. 
because it'll bring the nose of the thing down and you can't move it right. And if you use braid, it doesn't have enough stretch. It just sucks. Yeah, he dove down, and I guess there must be a... I mean, you, as you guys can tell, it's littered with trees through here, so he must have just dove down, wrapped me around a tree, and broke it off when I was trying to grab this net. He was a big, he was a pretty big fish. It's all good, though. It's all good. Oh, yeah, we're about to get pissed on. Oh, it's about to happen. <laughs> Today is just turning into an interesting day. So I was cruising over here to the spot. Well, I went to go move my, uh, I went to go move the net because it was kind of in my way. And the wind caught hold of it and threw it off the, just took it right off the boat. So my net's sitting in like 40 foot of water right now. Oh yeah, it's one of those days. Well, thank God Peric's coming in today. Losing fish, dropping equipment, getting pissed on. It's my kind of day. We're still gonna catch some fish. I can go to Bass Pro Shops, because I have to. Now I really have to go to Bass Pro Shops. You know, I'm not really too big of a fan of this spook I'm using, because it doesn't, it doesn't have the knocker in it. I don't know if it's like a, uh, I don't know if I just have more confidence in one with a knocker, or if it's just because I'm, I, I don't know. It moves the same, there's just no knocker. So I'll use it for about five or 10 minutes and then switch over to one with a knocker. I'm feeling a little bit better. That's my second strike against a tree. Yeah, I've only got a couple hours left of battery life. So I didn't charge my mic. It's not a big deal. We gotta go do some stuff anyway today. today today's title of this video will be such a parrot day. Yeah, all right. Okay, I'm gonna head back in. I'm gonna go to Bass Pro. This is this has been a uh, interesting day on the water, to say the least. All right, so that wasn't really too pleasant. I'm gonna go home, mow the lawn, get ready to go to Bass Pro shops, pick up Perry. But if you guys just want to see fishing videos, I'll link a couple below from a while back that I'm sure a bunch of you guys have never seen. Caught some really big fish in those videos, unlike this one. But other than that, you can just stick around if you want to see Peric. All right. Ready? Good to go? Yeah. All right. Avery, 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 Avery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dropping over there. Life update. Baby's crying. Peric just got kicked off his flight apparently, and his camera just broke. I don't, so I don't really know what's going on with Peric, but I still gotta go get him a head of lettuce, and I gotta go to Bass Pro Shops. <clears throat> All right, so life update number two for right now. Peric did get kicked off his flight. He just called me. They kicked him off for filming. He literally got kicked off his flight for filming. And I don't know if you guys have been following this channel for a while, but I got told to stop filming like a couple weeks ago on a flight. It's not against the law to film. The only area they don't want you to film is the TSA area, which is understandable. But he got kicked off for filming. As you know, you guys have seen me walk on the plane with the camera. That's they literally he sat down and they just kicked him off. His flight doesn't come in as of right now till tomorrow morning, but he says he might be driving to Atlanta. I don't know what he's doing. He's he's in a He's in a peric mood, like his head's like everywhere else. But I'm still gonna leave right now. I gotta, I have to go to the store and buy some stuff, uh, fishing supplies, which you guys are about to see. Cause I, I'm like really, of course I lost a net as you, I, I'm, I'm an idiot, but. <sighs> yeah. And we're gonna go buy him a head of lettuce. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a gift. It's like a, now, now it's just a, uh, a present for him having these, having these issues. Life update number three. This is such a peric day. I I lost the key to my to the bolt that locks my freaking boat to the trailer or the hitch. Now my now I cannot remove my boat from my truck. 
holy crap, what a day this has been. I I really suck at life right now. And on this, this, this very moment, I am failing at life. <laughs> I'm just gonna drive with it on there, whatever. Oh. Oh, come on. All right. Okay, so I'm actually gonna run in here. I'm not gonna bring you guys because I know I'm gonna need two hands. Like, for sure, I'm gonna need two hands because I have to get some fishing stuff. I was originally gonna go to Bass Pro, like I told you, but I don't need to go pick up Peric, so I don't need to drive 30 minutes for no reason. But I'm gonna go grab this stuff and I'll show you guys here when I'm done. Because it's, it's all fishing related. Everything I'm getting is fishing related. That's big. That's like really big. Okay, so I think today's video was kind of trash. To be honest with you, the fishing wasn't that good. This wasn't that good, you know? I was kind of hoping for a lot bigger fish. I lost a fish over some really dumb stuff. I, I knew I made a mistake whenever I went. You know what I should have done with that bigger fish? I should have got it tired, got it up to the boat, but I was too worried about the stumps and I shouldn't have reached for the, uh, I, j I just shouldn't have reached for the, um, what is it called? I shouldn't have reached for the net. I did go buy some of these today. I lost two crankbaits today and I hate losing crankbaits because they're so freaking expensive. There's, I think I lost two crankbaits that totals like 15 to $20 for two of them. Who wants to pay that much? So these are like three bucks, three, three or four bucks. I've never used them. The only problem with them is it tells you what they say on there. So I don't know if you guys have been watching the channel for a while. For you guys that have, you guys know what I'm about to do. So with these kind of crankbaits, these are just, little academy crankbaits. I'm literally, I write like on here, 222 foot. Now, I mean, that's that's not gonna stop a fish from eating this, just so you guys know. So I got those. Now I, I bought a bunch of those and I, I, I literally write on all the bills because I'm not the smartest person in the world as you guys all saw today. So I will forget that this goes down to 22 foot. So, anyway, got some more one knocker spooks. I don't even know why I bought this chatterbait. I don't really know. And I needed more of these. So I bought some more. Terminal tackle sucks to buy. It really does suck. So anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this uh beautiful bowl of cereal. I gotta pick up Peric in the morning. He uh he gets here at uh, eight in the morning, and then we gotta do a lot of uh, stuff tomorrow. So I, I am gonna buy him a good present. He doesn't know it yet, but he's gonna get a head of lettuce. That's that's what we're gonna buy him in the morning because he's had so much issues by getting kicked off this flight. So, anyway, I'm probably gonna roll into some subscriber Sunday videos because I kind of messed up. Um, I didn't post one yesterday or the day before because I was in Mexico, but you guys are about to get, get it because I, I think I owe you guys that from having just a horrible video from earlier today. So, anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow and uh, we'll be with Peric, so that should be real interesting. <laughs> hey, but I told you to watch it, you don't even know we here. Go over there and take that grass off. I don't even really know what it is. Come inside. Oh! Oh, watch it though. I'm telling you. Here, bring it, bring it over here. What oh. is that? Oh, oh. what is that? <laughs> bring, bring it closer. Don't bring. fall, dude, don't fall. There's a catfish! No yeah. way! Oh my god! Oh. Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! Bait, a little hey, bit are you serious? Yeah. 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 What the heck? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Dude, yeah. Dude, it's like his pole went off in the water yeah. and just yeah. went out there. Alright, yeah, Dylan's got a six pounder on. Oh my god, Dylan. Oh, 
It's a good fish. Oh my god! Get him, Nick. Get him, Nick. Get him, Nick. Get him, Nick. Oh, Dylan, that's a big one. Come here, boy. Whoa! First cast! <laughs> oh my god! Get him, boy. Oh, oh good. Dude, that's a oh chunky my. fish. That's dude. a pig!